I'm actually in a daylily field at Shriners Iris Gardens with Ben Shriner. And so, Ben, these aren't iris. So, what's going on with these daylilies? Yeah, these are daylilies. We uh, got into daylilies about four years ago. Uh, we grew them back in the 50s and 60s oh. and then stopped growing them, but we started again about four years ago. And so these are very special because they're a special breeder in California that you work with. Yeah, Bill Marriott is his name. Um, he's a famous iris hybridizer, then moved to daylilies. Oh. And we take his new introductions, introduce them every year. So he breeds them down in San Jose area and then ships them up to us. We grow them out in the field uh, and then we introduce them on the market. Uh, and really, from just a couple years ago, how many varieties are you up to? We grow around 500, 550. Oh. Uh, we list right now, I think it's between 350 and 400. Wow, wow. He is a prolific breeder. That's great. Definitely. He introduces about 15 to 16 new uh, daylilies each year. These are such healthy plants. They're all in full bud. So how do you grow them? Yeah, so we do uh, like field rotations with cover cropping. Um, and then uh, we you know, fertilize every spring. And then you know, for daylilies, for commercial, it's a, a lot of water. We apply a lot of water in the field. Uh, and I could see that, and we also saw that they're being shipped, and those roots are so healthy and so robust, so really, these things are happy. Definitely, and we, de we, we send double fan or more uh, to customers retail. So. Uh, and so maybe you can kind of walk us through um, like how that all happens, because like you're going to get them in the mail bare root, and so how do we end up going to, and even if we have them at home, to divide them or move them, how can, we, how can you help us? Yeah, daylilies are interesting because you can dig and divide and plant basically from end of, first, uh, end of last frost all the way basically till first frost in the wow. fall. So even when they're in full bloom, you can dig them up, divide them, and replant them. Oh, okay. So maybe you can show us. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. So Ben, this looks like a good one for a candidate to um, dig up? Yeah, and like I was saying, you can dig up daylilies basically any time, even in the middle of bloom if you want. That's amazing. And so it'll maybe hurt these, but next year they'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the first step? All right, so you just take your shovel or spade and you can kind of get pretty close to the, the daylily there. And you just lift it out of the ground. Okay. Well, that was nice and easy. You shake all the dirt out of the roots. Wow, those are some nice roots. Perfect. So you can see the fans here. You got one, two, three, four, five. Wow. And so uh, when it comes to dividing, you can break them down into single fans or clumps. Okay. If you want a bigger clump in your yard faster, then you want to have multiple fans. Um, and you can do it with your hand, you can do it with a, a knife or a spade, um, but you just kind of break them apart like this. Oh, it's kind of a natural break then. You're not sacrificing anything. Absolutely, yeah. Beautiful. So we just split this in half there. Nice. And so let's go to if I got these um, mail from you, I ordered them. So they're going to look similar, but maybe not as much foliage. Yeah. And so and if you're uh, planting them in your yard, you want to do the same thing. You just trim the foliage down. Oh, that's nice and easy. You don't even need your trimmers. Like, like <laughs> so. And then you can also do the roots if you like. They're going to shoot new roots. So you can trim them down pretty short. Okay. So something like that. Nice. You pull off dead foliage. Okay. But this is basically what they look like when we ship them. Wow, that's really robust. Mm -hmm. And then what do we want to do? Prepare a new space. Maybe I, I know that we just dug it up now, but maybe you could just kind of show us. Yeah, so you want to get the ground kind of worked in a little bit. Um, they do like uh, balanced fertilizers. Okay. So you could always apply like a 10 10 10 or even like a 20 20 20, something like that. Um, just work it in like that. And then. Okay. In terms of planting, you can just plant them right about, you can see kind of where it turns white. Sure. Just plant them about that high, that depth right okay. there. Okay, so kind of shallow. Yeah. Well, you make it look so easy. Just like that, and then you can just water them in. Uh-huh. Uh, just water them probably like once a week until they get established, you know, six weeks or so. And that's basically it. Wow, I, you know, that makes it, he makes it so easy. I know he's a professional, but I think daylilies are one of the easiest perennials for anyone's garden. So we can order now, you're starting to ship? Yeah, we're shipping now through September. Ah, well really there's so many beautiful ones on the website for Shriners Iris Gardens and check those out and also check for the iris because they'll be shipping soon too. Thanks so much, Ben. Thanks for having me. Thank you.